Um, but welcome back, everybody. I'm Dr. Sodma Chan here with your daily dose of fail. I don't know how much of fail this is going to be. I think it's a little indie game. I'm not really sure if it's indie or not. I'm just saying it is just because how it looks. Um, but I'm playing a little game called The Novelist. I decided to do something easy to ease my way back into uh, doing games because it's been a while since I've played a computer game uh, of any kind. I've been playing on my 3DS and enjoying Fire Emblem and Pokemon again. Classics! Alright, so let me double check on my phone that is working. See this graphics that it's got going here and turning it down on my ears. Um, that's why I think it's technically classified as indie. But I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm kind of talking about my patootie. Excuse me, there is a message for you. Well, excuse me, it's gonna have to wait. That's my uh, awesome little background sound. For or not background sound, but. You know what I mean. What computer being dum dum? Dum dum, give me dum dum. <sighs> I was going to stream yesterday, but I didn't, didn't do it anything at all yesterday. I was you know, enjoying my day off on my birthday, because yesterday was my birthday. Um, I did absolutely nothing but play Sims 4 all day yesterday, and I would have recorded it, except, you know, anytime I've tried to record playing Sims in the past, it gets all glitchy and twitchy and just not wanting to cooperate, you know? So, I just decided now I wasn't going to record it, plus I sit there and look like this about 95% of the time when I play Sims 4. And then nighttime, when I had a chance to do something else, which I, I say it like I had other things to do all day, and I apologize if you can hear how gassy I am right now. Um, but it turned into a competition of, I have this you know, lovely little Fitbit, and since I hadn't done anything all day, I had like little to no steps. And so I was trying for like two hours to get um, my 10,000 steps, in, which I didn't get that far. I got about 9,000 steps, or, or 8,500 steps. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we're gonna play the novelist, and I'm gonna do. Now I'm not gonna worry about doing my intro again. I'll just cut and paste. The lovely function, you know, that you can do <coughs> editing videos. Excuse me. All right, so let's try this game. New game. Select difficulty. Um, I'm going to do story. Yes, let's do a tutorial so I know how to play. This is it. Wow, look at this place. Still can't believe the deal we got. Where's my room? Their feet right sound there, like buddy. train tracks. Sorry. Look at those letter on the dining room table. Mr. Kaplan, welcome to your home for the summer. We are very excited to have you. This is one of the most popular properties, and I'm sure you and your family will have a memorable visit. We have you booked through the uh, the August 31st. Your security deposit has cleared, and our cleaning service freshened everything up on Saturday. You can buy groceries at McClendon's in town, and if you like to eat dinner out, there are quite a few restaurants on Meridian Avenue just off Fairview. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions or if you run into any trouble at all, please don't hesitate to call Pete Fuller, Hanager Rentals, Sydney Bluffs, I guess, Oregon. 
I do not know why I have such a hard time. Oh. You can possess any light fixtures in the house by looking at it and pressing space. You can even jump from one light fixture to the next in order to move the house more quickly. So what am I? <laughs> Why am I possessing light bulbs? Wait, where's the office? Oh, there it is. Ooh, this is weird. I don't understand why I'm possessing light bulbs. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay. I don't know if this is working. I'm gonna be very pissed off if it's not. The goal in each chapter is to figure out the dilemma facing Dan and how he should resolve the situation. Each member of the family desires a different outcome and it's up to you to decide which path to take. If you learn the desires of more than one character, you can cover compromises that will help the family. First, you can do it. I will continue in about two seconds. Okay, so it seems to be working. It seems my phone is a very bad indication of whether it is or not. So I actually pulled it up on the computer in there where I can actually see the screen from here. So hopefully that'll help me stay in touch with it and how it works. Alright, so press E to continue. Lighter's block. Oh, I feel you there, buddy. After a week at the house, I forgot how to come out of the wall. How did we go? Writer's block. I can't believe I just wrote that. Writer's block. There, again. Those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. I don't think it's been this bad since high school. Mr. Holder's class, an essay about Faulkner. Ew. Dan Kaplan, little-known author of Tramer's Way and Windsong, has run out of steam. Closed my eyes last night and saw a literary register article about myself. And that was the first line. Paul wants three chapters next week, and so far I've got 2,000 words so sloppy I can barely read them. I cannot blow my schedule. Paul said Grofield's been very clear about what comes next if I keep slipping deadlines. Why did this happen as soon as we got here? This was supposed to simplify things, but so far it's been nothing but staring at a blank page. <sighs> Maybe a walk will help. Or a long drive. Or a drink. I feel you. Each character has a number of writings on, or drawings to discover we have found one of Dan. Now that you know what's troubling him, you should search the house for him to discover more about his dilemma. Now what I was trying to say earlier before I stopped to read the instructions and figure out that I'm a weird thing that possesses light bulbs, um, was that I don't know why I have such a hard time reading things out loud, because, you know, reading is what, what, yeah, what I like to do. But heaven help me if I can speak while I'm trying to do things. I'm guessing this is what speed dance budget. Oh, well, there's Dan. Press space. Yeah. If this isn't work. The clouds around Dan's head in case he's remembering specific moments from the past. You have the ability to explore his memories to learn more about the current chapter. Approach Dan from behind and press space to enter his memory. What am I? Am I a ghost? New day, I can write my way back into this thing. Now that you've entered Dan's memory, you can explore it freely and follow the sounds to locate different moments that are on his mind. 
When you have when you find a specific memory moment, press space to uncover more about what's troubling Dan in this chapter. You can exit Dan's memory whenever you wish, and you can return to it any time by approaching him from behind the pressing space. I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm just gonna stop streaming on nope. It seems to be working. It's really glitchy. Um so I'm gonna try to find this memory that he's focused on. Do you think coming here will help? It has to. I what he's focusing on. I'm going to switch to his regular recording. Tommy rode into town with me today. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking. Did we swing the pendulum too far just to get him away from those bullies? Kids can bounce back quick sometimes. What if this is the worst thing we could have done? Then he asked how Daddy's book was going, and without even thinking, I said, Great, my man. Felt awful right away. It's a white lie, sure, but why not be honest? When he was younger, he was just a bundle of physical needs, but now he's like a mental, emotional sponge. He's around Linda and me all the time, and I can see him changing every day in a thousand small ways. That scares the hell out of me. What am I teaching him with a white lie? That people lie. You find all the moments in this character's memory. You can come back and re-examine them at any time or you can exit and explore other characters' memories. Well, I'm gonna come back to that in just a second. Like I said, I'm gonna stop live streaming and just record because I wanna make sure everything actually gets recorded. Okay, I think I cut myself off mid recording, saying I needed somebody else to help me with under tell. Anyway. Recording now so I know that everything actually gets recorded. Uh, I'm going to continue with this now. I've looked at everybody's memories. We're going to exit this. Dan, we're back! Now that Linda and Tommy are home, you should look for clues, discover what's on their minds, and explore their memories. If you can learn what all the characters want, you can earn additional opportunities uh, to influence their story. the house for more writings and drawings. He said painting or whatever. Oh, that's depressing. You can always press tab to see your progress and find out what you need to do to move forward. You can press escape to view the help screen or adjust options like your screen size, mouse density, volume, voiceover style, and more. Well, that's just a random point in time to tell me that, but thank you. You. Got back to his room pretty quick. Hey, mommy. Hey, honey. Are there any other kids? We'll have to find out. I don't think I can go outside, is it? What am I missing? Somewhere in here. Maybe it's upstairs. There it is. How close is it going to be? Hang on. Jeez, this kid is like depressed. I think we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tommy. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. 
We told him this is just a fun family vacation, and he seems to like it here so far. But this might be it for Dan and me. Neither one of us has said the word yet, but I know it's right there under the surface. We've been dancing around it. I can't even bring myself to write the word here. Writing it would be almost as bad as saying it, because once it's there, it becomes real. A thing we have to deal with. I'm not ready for that yet. We agreed to make this a fresh start. I meant it. I think he did too. Now we just have to treat each day like a new beginning. I guess they're talking about divorce. I promise. I promise. Me too. So... The relationship could definitely be causing an issue. Unless he's a busy guy, right? Paul, good to hear from you. Listen, things are taking a little longer than expected. I feel good about this one, but I haven't quite brought some of the threads together. It's just an execution hiccup, not a lack of ideas. This is the most complicated book I've ever tried to write, and let's just say I have a newfound respect for guys like Dickens and Joyce who can juggle ten threads at once without getting lost. I'm figuring some of this stuff out the hard way, I guess you could say. Anyway, the outline I sent you is still good, those are still the beats, those are still the themes I plan to explore. I'll keep you posted. Dear. Oh god, do I have to pick out themes when I write a book when I finish writing it? Because, hmm. You discovered enough about this chapter to find out what they want to resolve in this chapter. Read their thoughts to learn how you can help them. Where'd they go? Meow. Gonna win this time. So wrapped up in his book. Meow. Wish I could help Daddy. No distractions here, just us. Maybe we can play later. And still make it work. So she really wants the relationship to go It's well. such a crazy thought. The three of us all alone in this house all summer. I never thought we could afford a place like this, but the price surprised us both when we saw it. I wonder if there's something wrong with it. Maybe it has a raccoon problem or a toilet that backs up. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, and I'm painting again. I got set up today. I felt a buzz right away. Painter in the so much time to go. work. I haven't had a space like this in forever. Oh, I, always motion I, the studio. I went straight into a new piece today, got lost, looked up to see it was two hours later. I think this new one has promise, though I still have some rust to shake off. Speaking of which, I'm going to go check on Dan and see if his new office is doing anything for him. He's pretty frustrated, but he has to figure something out soon, or this place won't be any different than home. Hmm. Is that... He wants to play with his daddy. Mm. Where did he go? I don't mean I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, uh, yeah. Where did Tommy go? Excuse me, there is a message. Excuse me, he's got a dweeb. Look for the child. They all go upstairs. Hmm. Me and Daddy can play race and Roger. You choose this character's outcome, find the object in the blue text, and select it. You can continue exploring the house if you like to discover what other characters want to do. Characters' desires can be viewed by pressing tab. So he wants to play that game. I'm guessing that's what that is over there. Hmm. What does mom want? Where did mom go? Hello. Can I read the journal? Writer's block. Nope, I read that. I can't believe I just... Move forward! Hey. Hey. Okay, so she's focused on painting right now. Notebook. Now I had something good. Okay. Isn't that your notebook 
Does that work? Now where did she go? Hey honey, what's you doing? Blasting off. How did they manage to like disappear so dang fast? Let me try to find his notebook. Blast off. Barb, how are things? Is school still taking up all of your time, or is anything new going on? Because if it's right We've been up here for a week or so, and I can already tell it's going to be great for painting. There are hardly any distractions, and this house has a room they called the conservatory in the brochure, which really just means it has a lot of windows. Whatever they call it, it's a great space for working. The second floor blocks most of the northern light, but I'll manage. I took Tommy down to the beach today, and you should have seen how excited he was. I wish I'd brought my camera. He kept looking back up at the house like he couldn't believe it was so small from down there. He seems to have taken to this place really well so far, which is such a load off our minds. We didn't know what to expect, but so far, so good. Mr. and Mrs. Kaplan, I hope this reaches you before you leave for the summer. I know things went... How? I know we went over things in my office, but I think Tommy's a wonderful child, and I feel better putting in rec my recommendation in writing. Children develop at different speeds, and Tommy shows no signs of a serious learning disorder. So the most important thing is to be patient and supportive. Make sure he does his reading exercises each day in a calm, loving environment. Make sure not to show disappointment when he struggles, which he will at first. Show encouragement when he succeeds. His self-confidence is critical at this age. If he fails to make progress with exercises as included, you may want to take him to a local pediatrician for further recommendations. I hope this is of some help. I look forward to seeing Tommy this September. Mm. Oh, is that the notebook? Selecting the notebook will choose Dan's resolution for this chapter. Linda and Tommy will be disappointed. However, if you've discovered... Oh, let me see. I need to figure out what Linda wants. There's him. He wants the notebook. He wants the game. Where did mom go? I forgot what mama wants. She's gonna make him. No. He's gonna have a bottle of wine hang out like we used to. So. Tab. Well, how can I. Compromise? She wants to borrow a line, kid wants to play a game, and he just wants to work. Oh. So if you've discovered Dan or Tommy's desired outcome, you'll be able to find a compromise with one of them in the next chapter. They need to work things out. So, I'm going to do this for this chapter, because they need to work on their relationship issues so that they can be there for Tommy, and it, maybe the relationship issues solving will help with his um, writer's block, because emotional things can definitely get in the way. By learning the desires of more than one character, you've earned the ability to find a compromise with one family member you didn't choose in the previous chapter. Press tab. Um, the desk of Carl Baxter, January 15, 1948. Mr. Lowley finally gave in and agreed to let me inspect the house. I believe he simply grew tired of hearing me ask, although I think deep down he knows I'm correct. A property like this simply doesn't change hands every year or two without a reason. I noticed the pattern when I was cleaning out old files and this house kept coming up. It's changed owner seven times in the last 13 years. I began digging and not a single one of the sales was financially motivated. People just seemed to keep deciding that they'd rather live somewhere else. Which doesn't add up in my mind. The view is striking. The isolation and privacy alone make a great property. The remoteness can't be an issue. Certainly no one who could afford this kind of house needs to work for money. It's a mystery, but that's why I'm here. 
Uh oh. Is this a shining sort of situation? And I hate to do it to the kid, but. Which is one of those things, if we want him to be happy and make things work out, then he needs to write. From the desk of Harold Baxter, January 16th, 1948. Standing in the kitchen drinking coffee and admiring the view, I simply don't understand it. Who wouldn't want to see this every morning? That appears to be the great question of 40, 451 Timberline Road. I slept very well last night. It's a good thing the previous owners left the house furnished. It was just about as quiet as anywhere I've ever been. The only sounds today are the ocean and a few birds. After I finished breakfast, I plan to begin my inspection. Later, I was expecting the upstairs walkway to make sure the railing was sturdy when I saw something odd downstairs. I'm not certain I can describe what it was, and if I talked to myself halfway out of thinking it was anything at all. Probably just a trick of the light coming through those big windows. Well, before I pick the notebook, I want to see if I can find more of those things. The fact that they're very loud in this bathroom. Those journal entries I'm finding are very interesting. What did you find, Mr. Harold Baxter? He wants to go outside, so I don't think he really cares about the game right now. Makes me feel a little bit better. This will make getting downstairs much faster. I would not be able to sleep with that much freaking cricket sounds. My fritter is ridiculously loud. Okay, he does anything else here. Just wanted to make sure. Now what? Oh. Why is she so close to the window? Next night, Dan's best friend is like, I don't have a bottle of wine. I'm asking you if you want to drink it and catch up after they got time in the bed. Uh, favorite Miles Tanner record and cuddle up on the couch laughing and catching up on him for stumbling to bed. The sun was off to a good start for them. Good. They have a child. Dan spent the next few days forcing his way through scenes he knew weren't good enough to hit his deadline. But the day before sending his work out, a thought came to him from nowhere telling him to check behind the bedroom desk for his notebook. He didn't have a chance to reread everything. He uh, typed an outline which smoothed things over with his agent. Dan's mind was elsewhere when Tommy tried to get his dad to play Race and Roger with him. Linda found Tommy trying to play the game by himself at the dinner. She said that he played a few games with him, but she didn't love him. But she could tell he really wanted to play with his dad. You know what? I'm sorry, kid, but if you want mommy and daddy to stay together, there's some things that just have to happen, okay?